It's nearly 20 to 10. My guest live in the studio is David Bowie. Going back to the movie once again, a lot of people who have seen the film in, f in its uh, new recut version have said that, in a way, your acting is rather um, wooden. <laughs> <laughs> Um, stiff. Now, well, stiff, yes. I mean, that's what a lot of people have said. I had the um, wrong trousers on, probably. Now, in The Man That Fell to Earth, um, you really had to be less of an actor in that film because there was a sort of mystical quality to the character you were playing, which is very much um, have surrounded you. I mean, that surrounded you and has almost become your image over the last X number of years. Um, but in this film, you had to be more of an actor. You were actually directed by, obviously, David Hemmings. Yeah. Um, and now... Do you, I mean, did you actually feel happy in doing this movie, or did you feel as if it was a slightly wooden well, no, <laughs> I'm not happy, because the, <laughs> the one thing David told me was, David, act stiff. <laughs> really? <laughs> Fine. <laughs> <laughs> No, you were saying you were saying that the the guy that you play is actually a wimp anyway, and, and makes very wooden yes. movements. So a lot of yeah, well, he's only a soldier, and I think that he's ha <laughs> <laughs> he's happiest in the whole film when he's dead, because that's where he really feels at one with himself. Mm. That's, that's my excuse. Okay, we will go to the phones now. Get me out of this, Peter.